Hi everybody, I'm Seamus. I'm Josh. I'm Rootsgarn. I'm third place. I'm George from Super Buddy Hop? Question mark? Wait, but you you were the fourth one. You're fourth place, Camster. Yes. This no, is okay, George I'm... from Super Buddy Cop. <laughs> Damn it! Should okay, we start do a second game. take? Start... <laughs> no, no, we didn't. This is this is better than it usually goes. Don't worry. So this is it's Dark Souls week here on Spoiler Warning here on uh, on Twenty Sided because hopefully I will be doing a Dark Souls Two stream on Friday. Okay, can I just jump in here real quick? So here's the thing. I know things about Dark Souls from my vast experience with the franchise, and I've got room to make one contribution in this entire week of episodes, so I'm going to make it right now, and I'm going to insist upon this point, play the naked guy. Oh yeah, that's actually okay, a really cool. fun thing sure. to do. All right. Reginald Cuffed, god damn it. Who's Reginald Cuffed? <laughs> Name isn't long enough for Cuffed Bert. All right, we are Reginald Cuffed. We'll have to explain the man, what? the myth, the legend to okay, you at a so later date. This, this, guy, this guy doesn't gifts. look naked. Oh, and He's here's the first choice. Now the first game-breaking choice. That's that's pretty naked right there, I would Don't say. Don't pick somehow, naked. This how somehow fitting that... this... No, I want to not this pick the pendant. On... How fitting that this happened on the week we talked about hot men on the diecast, huh, Very guys? Fitting. Right? Look at how fitting his clothes are. Or is it just weird? Or just somehow yes. this guy's loin cheesecloth make him look more naked than frontal nudity would have? <laughs> it just looks like he has a really big bush. Like a giant so, bush. This is Dark Souls, and the first thing you discover about Dark Souls is all the character models look really ugly. Um, Why was that one guy so smiling? We're gonna Play spend the whole episode. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know. Black people are apparently really happy in Dark Souls. Yeah, universe. oh, you gotta play this. Like, I felt really I weird when happy. I first saw that. I was yes. like, is this if... is this blackface? Like, look at him. Look at him compared the to all the others. Jovial features of Katarina, known for festivity and drink. Dark Souls confirmed <laughs> for super <laughs> racist. Okay, no, whatever, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Let's give him white people this hair. This is receding? This, like... <laughs> he looks like oh, Vegeta. Huh? Well, at least at least they have a wide selection of conks for their racial Wait, stereotype. Do we get... Do we get, um... Shit, we need to, uh... We need... Is there no beards? I've never actually made a male character in this game. Are there no beards? Wait, hormones? What, really? This is so what? fucking weird. It's and age? <laughs> oh, look at that! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> he, he is not healthy. This, this is, wait, uh, this wait, game wait, wait. has... Wait, wait. Feminine oh, he's no is longer gray. jovial. Strong is apparently jovial, so we'll make him super happy. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> you would uh, have to give him like, some that weird hair color here. Oh, shit. Yes, we got, uh... What kind of monster have you created? <laughs> we are going to be the happiest man in the abyss. This is going to be wonderful. I... We are going to cheer up the world of Dark Souls. We're going to be joy oh, to man. these miserable people. When, when other players find you, you should just do all the dances. Hi, oh, friend. My... Let's be friends. <laughs> I hope we get invaded in our first 10 <laughs> seconds oh my of play. God! <laughs> his puffy ass cheeks are just like that's a crazy silhouette. Look at how uh, tiny his head is. Oh god! <laughs> this looks, he looks like a Goomba from the Mario movie. I still say yeah, that. Okay, are, do we. Is this an acceptable character for us here? Yes. Uh, is it, look is at his it happy really? Trail. His blue ass happy trail. <laughs> Dear lord, this is already oh the worst uh, game Shut up, guys. Played. Super serious yeah. backstory. Yeah, you, and this the is the most age of the age you're going to get in the whole game. And the game. third age of the third age. Well, no, it's, it's like the third age of the second era. Or, dun, dun, like dun, dun, a line of great cracks. It's really surprising. I never lost a dragon. 
The backstory Damn. of Dark Souls, they set it up like this is like super duper ancient history, but when you actually like look into it, these are fairly recent events in like Yeah, this the is like timeline. a couple thousand years ago at most. <laughs> and and think and about that even in terms fire! of like Earth's timeline. A couple thousand years ago wasn't that bad. Not that long ago, at least in the grand scheme yeah. of things. Like, imagine if our... Like, look at how silly the people who think the Earth was created 2,000 years ago are. Like, this is a universe where the Earth was created 2,000 years ago. Then, from the dark, <laughs> it's, in the it, ancient it really past is, of like, Tuesday. <laughs> it really is, like, like none of the, the... Like, I never got a sense of how society worked when the these guys set it up like i didn't get yeah, it like there are they, apparently they human things. communities outside of the area that you can explore that they are still nicely they have humans in them but it doesn't really like explain anything about what's going on there and, and you actually meet up with one like, human character and they don't shove it in your face that she's human you have to like figure it out with the stupid big ass storytelling stuff but it's like it keeps it ambiguous in terms of whether or not the crazy shit you're seeing is like a crazy afterlife trip or if you're actually inside of the same universe that the humans share. Like even when there is a crossover, there's still a degree of, of questioning that goes on behind wait, it. Wait, 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 there wait, wait, wait. Is, there is uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. In the game. I just, I kind of missed this. Did it just like casually drop in pygmies as a fantasy construct? Yeah. Uh... Pygmies yeah, the, the primitive are, humans, spoiler sir. warning, they're humans. They're the actual well, they're humans like the ancestors. Games. These guys aren't humans. These guys are like giant god deity things. And, and there's this also a race so of people who look like humans but aren't. Well, no, it makes sense in the... I don't know. <laughs> like, okay, the I first say... pygmy is, is supposed to be the, the great ancestor of you and all the other humans, and you're supposed to be directly related to him, because the furtive pygmy is the one that gets the Dark Soul, which apparently lets you respawn instead of dying permanently after you go hollow. But it's also, there's also like these things in the game called Primordial Humans, there's one you find in the DLC expansion pack, and he looks like a, a Titanite demon with a with a head, so maybe there's some connection between the two, but the Primordial Human itself doesn't look human at all. So, it kind of, it looks like, I, I don't know, Dark Souls gets really weird with its lore. It's, it's hard to tell it, yeah, it, exactly the end, the beginning, and I the thing, and the timeline of things. I think it's definitely one of those things where the creators probably don't know too much more about what's actually going on than we do. Because they, sort of they had to Hideki quickly rebrand it from Demon Souls. sort of, yeah. That added a lot to it, I, I think. What happened with that? When did they? How did they lose the license? They wanted to make it multi-platform, and Sony was like, "No." And they were like, "Screw you! We'll uh. just make a new IP that's multi-platform." <laughs> that like, this was going better. to be Demon Souls 2, and and they had to just. And a lot of recurring sound effects show up and stuff, and actually, I didn't mention oh, this yeah. in the critical close-up, and, and I probably and should have, but I actually like Demon Souls better. I will link it in show notes. Okay. So here we are. Huh. Well, that not that's not us, actually. Yeah. There's something weirdly 1990s cutscene about this dungeon. It is super 1990s cutscene. There, there are not the a lot of cutscenes cut in the game, but... And in this land... I well, mean, that this goes with the whole like game graphic. The opening cutscene couldn't exist in 1999 or whatever we were talking about. I don't know. Because Square had some pretty the good The animation back then. wouldn't have been that good. Man, it reminds me a lot. The opening of Baldur's it. Gate. It reminds me a like, lot of, of the very first Alice game from American McGee. It had you flying through a dungeon a lot like this at the open. Oh god, I love that game soundtrack. This is your fate. Chris Vrenna did it from Nine Inch Nails. That's probably completely unrelated. That's the same rat that uh, shows up later on in the game. Same exact model that is a common enemy. Why, rats, why am I man, saying I this hate... stuff? Look, look at that weird ass zombie man. Look, you can <laughs> only see his shit, hair. Yes. Oh no, those oh blue God. ass lips. <laughs> this is gonna be weird, you guys. So, this is gonna be really. So here's weird. a guy that's totally Just gonna survive the bear. game. Yeah, he's gonna be your sidekick through the whole game. Just, just yeah, watch. Exactly. Just watch. Okay, so just I want you guys smiling. to know that I had to watch this without any of the sound oh, on, God. and. The entire first part of this cutscene, 
was just one big man of war soundtrack playing in my head. And I don't want to turn oh, it on because it's going to roll. kill it for me. So uh, I can't believe okay. you didn't. Uh... Sorry, go ahead. I was just going to complain about DS fix. Well, yeah, we should have probably What's DS? Do. What is DS fix for those of us who don't know? <laughs> Well, you okay, have a so big when this Xbox game was released, HUD. um, it was uh, it was basically unplayable on the PC, uh, like to the extent where it was locked to 1024 by 720 resolution, and boo! Oh my god! And gosh. a whole bunch of incredibly other too. shitty stuff. Um, they basically like it's 2005. they. <laughs> they released the game in like a sort of like, hey, I will do this, but we don't know anything about PC ports, and we're not going to put a lot of effort into doing this, but since so many people are asking for it, we'll do a PC port, and it was pretty much what they said it would be, which was not very good. So, uh... Yeah, this is a good place to make camp. This is a good place to make camp. Ten feet away from the prison we just escaped. So bonfires well, have like a weird significance in this game. Note You're that I'm too handing this broken sword hill. The first for, for major extra damage. major post game decision, and that is, are you going to kill the asylum demon with your broken sword hilt or not? Because if I, you do, I think we should definitely try. You can try. You you might waste time if you don't go through with it though. But you get a cool prize. I don't know if you're aware of it or not. What is the cool part? Will it be pants? I, no, I've never I've, done I'm it. feeling a need for pants. You get the um you get his hammer if you kill him with the broken sword what, hilt right really? now. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't this game awesome? Oh look at that two okay. damage. This Mumbles is gonna work. couldn't make it here. Oh this is too busy. This is the best. Ooh. Wow, this Mumbles is uh, couldn't make it here. gonna take a while. So I I'm gonna have to save this for her, but punch his his butt. There we go. Yep. I said it. Yeah. Catchphrase. That, that is actually the strategy for bosses like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, you hit me. His get oh, right up all in his point. Get right up. Okay, maybe it's not worth it after all. I don't know. Dodge there. Yeah, maybe. Okay, George, you haven't been here long, but you should know that Josh never misses an opportunity to waste our time doing something incredibly stupid with a I, high I mean, word. I am doing extremely so high little damage with this yeah. that I think I'm just gonna do this the right way. This okay, because I'm not, I'm not gonna spend. Waste. This is a mini series. We're not doing this as a full spoiler warning here. So, speed run it. Skip the bonfire. Oh. No, I gotta heal. It's okay. Okay. But I'm yeah, all these I guess. Short messages, Josh. They don't See, matter. They're developer messages. I learned all about this game here, more from you. my co-workers that complained about how hard this game was. Oh, now my myself. weapon doesn't do anything. No, it's fine. Just just hit him like eight more times. I think it's important to differentiate. Oh, wait, shit. Um, when you talk about hardness, there is a lot of dimensions to hardness. It's, wait, there isn't just hard and easy games. There are games that are incredibly difficult, but easy to retry. There are games that are incredibly that aren't that hard but they're incredibly punishing and this is a this is a punishing this is how game. i'm supposed to do it right george what? right hand the shield left hand the club oh oh i see it took me a minute to notice <laughs> but um does I, does, 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 that wait, does the developer not anything? does the developer not understand how left-handed people work um so not. basically you can't block with it in your right hand. Right hand roll, is your attacking roll, 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 roll. hand. I did it. I'm good. Yay. I'm cool. So, Sorry. so in this developer's world, like no. left-handed people just like put a pencil in their right hand, I'm put the paper in their right. left hand, and move I'll the paper there. along against the pencil. Basically, <laughs> so you can so you can equip a shield in your right hand, but you bash with it instead of 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 swinging with it. Can you equip in a shield in either life, hand? I, I think I've played 170 hours of Dark Souls, and I don't think I've ever tried to left hand a primary weapon. No, this is so we're already important. breaking new ground here. I, I don't even think can I can you put carry a shield with it because in either it's hand. a blunt weapon. 
Uh, now you can put two. Sh you can dual wield shields. Yes. Pro shield? strat. <laughs> This is amazing. Oh. I mean, okay, wait for this guy. Pretty decent blunt. Here, Here take, take this. It. My entire suit of armor and magical and shield and awesome weapon. No, he's, he's he's just gonna. No, it's my Gatorade. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Gatorade. <laughs> and, a, and a key. I would hate to harm you. And you know, I think the club, or at least the reinforced one that you get from the merchant, isn't a bad weapon for the early game. No, the club either, is pretty so. good. Yeah, Lumps you're, you're gonna be okay. Weapon. Blood weapons are pretty good in this game. You can also two hand armor, shields. Just don't take hits. So you can, uh, so you can. <laughs> what the? F <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's the downside? What's the downside of this strategy? <laughs> the Maybe you should uh, save at the bonfire it's... outside first. I, I don't know. I feel kind of. Like now, after seeing this this whole left-handed weapon thing actually happen, the... there is. Oh, I missed with it though. What? You didn't even swing anything <laughs> at me. Oh, oh snap, god! It actually worked. Yeah, it sort of worked. <laughs> I love how it gives you the the stab sound. Yeah. Reginald Cuthbert, agent of I, shield. I backstab him <laughs> with the shield. I don't... I, I can't get around him. Oh, no, no, no! Damn it. Alright, we'll get this guy here. This is the guy you're supposed to train backstabs on anyway, so... Okay, that that was not oh, a backstab. God, I really that was hope also this... not a backstab. Oh man, is it not a thing? A shield backstab's think... not a thing. God. <laughs> oh man, All this my game's hopes broken. And I know, <laughs> man. What a cheap game. I can't believe they didn't I include with shield my left backstabbing. Because this should... Oh, that's just a block. Oh, I can still strong hit with my club. <laughs> wow. I have no idea what's going Beat on. Beat you to death with a plane! If you had told me... If I knew nothing about the, uh, about this game, after the, like, the last 15 minutes or so, I would have assumed that this was a cheap piece of shit. Okay, so good, now like, they did a really so good job. Aside from, here, aside from the main oh character, no. oh no, oh <laughs> no, this is gonna be really weird. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that was not even a decent plunge. Josh is okay, so die. so so Chris, basically, what you're supposed to do is equip your sword in your character's right hand. Josh oh, should not do that. This is gonna be entertaining, then. Yeah, it's playing like all the wrong animations for the wrong weapon. <laughs> Damn it! Get, come over here. Oh shit! Wow, that was a longer reach than I thought you had. I don't Welcome usually spend too much morning. time We're fighting this uh, us. this demon. Maybe do you have an opportunity to switch hands really quick, like while he's recovering from a swing um, or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. I can do that if you really think that it's necessary. I don't. I right. think you could die pretty well without it. Yeah, I think no, you, no, got no, you got this. You got this. Pat, Josh. We have faith in you. Oh, look at that! You're doing more damage with pitiful little weak swings when it's in the right <laughs> hand than than with strong swings in the wrong hand. This game this is, game so is prejudiced. Oh wow, that was. Uh... I was just gonna say that. Damn it, Chris! I'm uh, never gonna speak left hand again. Is a race now. Yeah, from okay, one hand like... to the race <laughs> to the left. And hand I'm not even left hand. Oh, I'm shit. not even left hand. I didn't realize he had the that move in his move set. I thought that was just oh, yeah. the fire sage and the other guy. To be fair, That's left handers are pretty sinister. Sage. This guy's got a really big butt, and it's it's kind of gross. <laughs> yeah, I cannot buy. All right, you're almost done. Hey, what's you up? got this. Oh my god, don't die, don't die, Jesus. Yeah! Oh, now, it. didn't that feel good? Victory achieved! You did a victory! Oh my god, humanity, you guys! <laughs> you can't use it in here, though. Of all the ways for take a... his tail off, though? Of all the ways no, for a naked racist awesome. caricature to find his humanity, punching an asylum monster <laughs> in the butt was not <laughs> one of the ways. <laughs> Congratulations, you're a real things person to say. now. Some interesting hey, things to say about the human condition. Oh! You, you, 
Snuggly is totally here. I've never tried that in the tutorial area before. Hang on, let me look up what, what humanity does to Snuggly. I don't, th I don't think it does anything. Like, I can try. No, no, hang on. Don't try. Don't try. Let me, give me a minute. Cannot drop. Oh, it's in my bar. You get the Ring of Sacrifice. Oh, that's actually a really useful trade. You get Ring of Sacrifice for but uh, I wanna, humanity. But I want to I wanna keep the humanity, because I want to try to get invaded before this little mini-series is over. So... Right. <laughs> Whoever's invading you is going to be invading a weird-ass-looking fellow. Ha <laughs> 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 That animation! In so good! In ancient legends, it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. Hey, what's up? Oh my god, that looks like the Game of Thrones logo. To leave the it looks undead. good. That's an ugly bowl. Game of fucking Thrones! <laughs> to the land of the ancient lords. That it is an ugly Well, it's bowl. time to take you to the last part of the narrative. Lord this is a, a hanging <laughs> plot point that's not going to pay off for another six or seven books. So which gift did you choose again? I think I already forgot. I, I want to fight Havel, so I brought the Master Key. Okay. Oh, that's going to be fun. Fighting Havel as, yeah. uh, as Deprived is going to be fun. Well, I... You can't get hit by him in any of the default armors anyway. You'll still die. It's not like... It's you not guys, like I don't know what's big game. deal. Yeah, I don't know what any of this means. You're like talking about, oh, you're deprived and you have wow. humanity, and it's like, do I don't... Okay, I don't know what I'd any like to point out that this is where my adventure with this game ended, because I accidentally hit this guy with, like, two sword hits, and then this guy <laughs> wailed on me, and then I died, and respawned right in front of him, and then yeah, he kept wailing this on is... me. This game does not put a lot of limits in front of you. You can just kill every nope. friendly NPC you see, but they're they're oh god, my. Space. Well, he's not necessary oh, to the story or anything. Oh, this he's guy you can make this guy you can kill and nobody cares. But but I, as a level zero guy, could not kill him, and it did not end well for me. <laughs> Again and again and again, and I'm like, well, no, that's where my don't... adventure ends. You don't understand. Your your level in Dark Souls like barely matters. Yeah, it's it's more about your armor and weapon build. And but I your think he was stuck. Familiarity with the controls. Like, was there any way to not get murdered by this guy over and over? <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, I could attack and, and him. What are you doing in front of him? him? If you want me to, you're, you're doing a jig. Don't do it, Josh. Ooh, more humanity. I, I don't know, you guys have said this now. 